Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about motion in a straight line, some problems for NEET and JE students. Okay, it is especially for NEET and JE students. In this video containing the problems up to motion equation topic. Okay, if you want to know the theory, please see my other videos. Okay. So, for to solve the problem, you have to remember some formulas. First of all, what is velocity? Velocity is equal to displacement divided by time. And what is instantaneous velocity? Instantaneous velocity is equal to instantaneous velocity is equal to rate of change of displacement with respect to time. That is dx divided by dt. Okay. So from this, what you will get? dx is equal to what you will get? V dt you will take. Okay? You will integrate this side and this side. So what you will get? x is equal to integration of V dt. Okay? So if you integrate the velocity with respect to, sorry, this is to be with respect to time. Okay? Clear? Then you will get the displacement. If you differentiate it, you will get the velocity. If you differentiate the displacement, then you will get the velocity. If you integrate velocity, you will get displacement. Okay? Here the condition, this displacement is a function of time. Here this velocity is a function of time. Okay? Then, next, acceleration. What is acceleration? Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. That is, change in velocity divided by time. What is instantaneous acceleration? That is rate of change of velocity with respect to time. That is dv divided by dt. From this, what is a dt? A dt is equal to dv. So if you integrate it, so what you get? This integration. So what you get? V is equal to integration of a dt. Integration of a dt. From this, you can write one more equation. That is a is equal to d by dt. What is instantaneous velocity? That is dx divided by dt. So what we can write? a is equal to d square x divided by dt square. Okay. These are the formulas. Now see the problems based on this. Okay. First the type 1 problem. If v of x is equal to beta x power minus 2n beta and n are constant find the a of x okay so what they have to be given they are given the velocity they are asking the acceleration in a function of function of x okay so here you have to remember what they are given they are given the velocity is a function of displacement it is not the function of time so don't take directly dv divided by dx that is not the answer so we will what is acceleration acceleration is equal to dv divided by dt so i will multiply and divide with the dx so what i will get dv divided by dx into this i will take it to this dx divided by dt what is this dv divided by dx into what is this that is velocity v into dv divided by dx is a acceleration okay you can remember this formula if the velocity is given in the function of x you can do like this method now we can solve this problem okay so first i am going to find out dv divided by dx what is dv divided by dx? d by dx of v. What is v? Beta into x power minus 2. Okay. So here beta is a constant. What is differentiation of x power n? n into x power n minus 1. So we can write as minus 2n into x power 2n minus 1. Okay. This is dv divided by dx. Then what about acceleration? Acceleration is equal to dv by dx into v. So what is v value? v value is beta x power minus 2n into dv divided 
by dx square is beta minus 2n x square minus 2n minus 1. So beta into beta beta square minus 2n is there. Okay, first we will write like this minus 2n beta square. Then here x power minus 2n minus 2n. So minus 4n minus n. This is the acceleration you will get. Okay, this is the type 1. Now you will see type 2. A car moves in a straight line. S is equal to 12t plus 3t square minus 2t cube. Find the velocity of the car at start. So what is the question? They are given. If a car is moving in a straight line. They are given a displacement. That is a function of time. What is the velocity at the starting time? Okay. That means we want to find out velocity at the t equal to 0. Okay. From displacement we can find out the velocity. What is the formula? V is equal to dx divided by dt. Here s is equal to instead of x that is s. So we will substitute that. What is s value? 12t plus 3t square minus 2t cube. Okay. So what you get here? You have to remember this formula. d by dx of x power n is equal to n into x power n minus 1. Okay. So here what you get? 12 you get. Okay. Then here what you get? That is 60 you will get. Here you will get it as. You will get it as 60 square you will get. Okay. So this is the velocity. Then if I am find out the velocity at t is equal to 0. Velocity at t is equal to 0. That means what I will get? This all the time this will be 0. This will be 0. Only I will get 12. Okay. So this is the velocity at the start. So we can write it as meter per second. So like this type of problem, we can solve easily. Okay. Then next type 3 x is equal to 9t square minus t cube. What is the distance at maximum speed? Okay. So they are given a distance they are given. That is a function of t. They are asking the distance at maximum speed. Maximum speed, how much is the distance? Okay. So if the distance velocity is maximum or the Speed is maximum. What about its derivative? Its derivative is to be 0. That means acceleration will be 0. Okay. So now we can find out this. First I am going to find out velocity. What is velocity? dx divided by dt. So what is dx? dx is equal to 9t square minus t cube. Okay. You have to remember this formula. d by dx of x power n is equal to n into x power n minus 1. Okay. So here you see that 9 is a constant. You take it outside. Derivative of t square. That you get it as what you get. 2 into t you get here minus 3 t square you get. Okay. This I can write it as 18 t minus 3 t square. That is the velocity value. Okay. I need acceleration that is derivative of velocity dv divided by dt that i will get here d by dt of 18 t minus 3 t square okay so from this what you will get the derivative of this is to be 18 you will get minus this will be what you get 60 you will get okay so what they are given they are given at maximum speed. For a maximum speed, its derivative is to be 0. So the acceleration is to be 0. So this value is to be 0. So 18 minus 60 is a 0. So what this will go there? 18 is equal to 60. So t is equal to 18 divided by 6. You get. Okay, how much is 18 divided by 6? That is 3 second time I got. Maximum we will get how much time? After t second, now I can find out how much is the distance it will be traveled. So you can see that I'm going to find out displacement after. Okay, three second. That is equal to nine into three square. 
minus t cube. So what do you get? 9 into 9 minus 27. Okay, that is what you get here. Sorry, what you get here? 9 into uh, here it is to be 3 cube. Okay, yeah, 27. It is correct. So here 81 you get. 81 minus 27 that is to be how much you get? 54 you get. That is a 54 meter, that is a displacement. How we'll see? Type 4. X is equal to 4t plus 12t minus t cube. How much distance travel before coming to rest? That means they are given the displacement as a function of time and they are asking before coming to rest how much is the distance it will be travel okay so if a body is at rest what about its velocity velocity becomes zero so i will find out from this the velocity okay then i will get with the zero then i will get how much time it will be take take to reach rest that time I will equate with this displacement and I will find out the axle. Okay. So first I am going to find out the velocity. That is dx divided by dt. What do you get? d by dt of x y. That is 40 plus 12t minus t cube. So what do you get? Derivative of this is to be constantly 0. So 12 minus what do you will get this? That is 3t square rated. Okay. This is the velocity. At rest, at rest, b is equal to 0. So, what do you get? If I require this 12 minus 3t square, you get. Okay, so 3t square is equal to 12, you will get. And t square is equal to 12 by 3, that is 4. So, what is t? t is equal to square root of this, that is 2 second. So, after 2 second, this body will be reaches to Trust. So we will substitute this t value here. So x of 2 is equal to what? What do you get? 40 plus 12 into 2 minus 2 cube. So what do you get? 40 plus 12 into 2 that is 24 minus 8. Okay. So how much you will get this? This is to be, you will get it as 16. 24 minus 8 is to be 16. Then plus 40 that is to be 56 meter okay that is the displacement traveled by the body before coming to rest thank you for watching the video please subscribe my channel if you like this video please put like and share